This is the fifth tutorial in a series of six two-minute tutorials aimed at teaching the very basics of Blender. Since the last tutorial, I've added slightly more detail to the mesh and changed the UVs to reflect that. We're now going to construct the crate. If we go to the front viewpoint, we can see the pivot is not in the center of the object. To return to the center, you can press Ctrl, Shift, Alt, C, click on Origin to Center of Mass. Then, we can rotate it from this pivot point by pressing down R and holding down Ctrl to limit it to 4.5 degree graduations. I want to then line up the center with the grid line in the two view sides, pressing Z to go transparent. Because I'm going to use an array modifier to construct the crate around another object, we want to return the 3D cursor to the center as well. You can do this by pressing Shift S and click Cursor to Center. I can then move the pivot to the 3D point by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt C and Origin to 3D cursor. I'm then going to add an array modifier and we need to not have a relative offset but rather an object offset to create it in this way. So we're going to create a plane axis empty by pressing Shift A empty plane axis. We want to line up the side of the crate with the empty as close as possible then apply the location again by pressing Control A and then change the array from relative offset to object offset selecting the empty. We actually want to have opposing sides for the way that I'm going to create the crate. So if we select the empty and rotate it using the control, we can then set the second side of the crate in place. Now we have the two sides, we actually don't need the array modifier anymore. So we can apply it and then delete the axes, pressing delete enter. If we select this object, go to the top view, we can then duplicate, pressing shift D, left mouse button click and rotating again using this control method. Then if we go to right view, we can do the same again. If we then want to create one object out of all three of these objects, we can press B to create a selection box and select them. Then press Ctrl J and they become one. We can then modify this object from a single edit mode. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the most important render settings and render out the crate.